Baby, what's good, YouTube? You know who it is, Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. Get your Pump Chaser beanies and scullies now. My fam, ain't hit tie these motherfuckers and make them buy shit. God damn it! Buy Pump Chasers beanie and scully, thirty minimum. Bam, got you, nigga. Anyway. Check it out, guys. It is now New Year's resolution time. And as you know, I'm a trainer, so I'm going to be bringing that heat, guys. I'm going to be uh, doing tutorials again. Uh, Denise is going to help with some cooking videos. Yes, I said Denise. Hey, hi, Denise. Hey, guys. Hey, for you hating bitches that were in my comment section, the house always wins, baby. I'm at the motherfucking casino, bitch. House always wins. Because the house always wins. Play long enough, you never change the stakes. The house takes you. Unless... When that perfect hand comes along, you bet big, and then you take the house. Anyway, we'll talk about that shit later, guys. This is not about my personal life. This is about you. So, like I said, I'm a trainer, and we're going to get back to tutorial videos. We're going to um, do some cooking videos and more workout videos. Stuff that's going to motivate people, change some lives, okay? So, be looking out for that. I wanted to start off uh, the season with a nice flashback. Comment below if you want to see flashbacks. I want to do like a flashback Friday where I take a video that was from my past and also that may have a message behind it. This video right here is me pretty much taking you out to eat, showing you a healthy alternative to a uh, uh, out to eat meal like where the restaurant called Denny's, which was back in the day one of my favorite places to eat. Not only did they have like a macro friendly menu, but it was cheap. They even had a thing called build your own where it's like four or five bucks. You can get pancakes, eggs, and all kinds of shit for four or five bucks. And back then I was struggling like a motherfucker. That's all I could afford. So shout outs to Denny's. Damn shame they didn't sponsor me because I would have been traveling state to state representing Denny's with pride. I take great pride in being sponsored by companies I believe in, which is why you really don't see me being sponsored now. I get sponsorship offers all the time. I just can't really get behind some shit that I don't use myself. I got meal prep companies hitting me up, all kinds of shit, but I just can't get behind shit I don't really fuck with. You know what I mean? But anyway, guys, so one of the biggest complaints I get from people that are new to fitness is that it's hard to make this shit fit in your lifestyle. Meaning, you wanna eat healthy, but you may have a girlfriend who really does it. Or your parents, you may live with your parents and they don't really eat healthy. Or your friends, they wanna go out on the weekend and go out to dinner and they don't really eat healthy and it makes it hard to stay on track. I've been there, guys. I've been there for years. For years, I don't wanna make this video longer than it needs to be, but there's been times where I'll be dieting I'm on my second week, everything's going good. And mind you, I'm single, I'm around 21, 22 years old. And a chick might hit me up and like, hey Chris, let's go out to TGI Fridays, catch up, have some drinks. And I go and have cheese sticks and ribs and just fuck up my diet. Now I feel like shit because I cracked my discipline for some pussy. And sometimes I don't even fuck, it's just a date. Just blow it, you know what I mean? And let me tell you guys, if you wanna be successful, in fitness or anything, sometimes you gotta just stay on the grind. So if you're dieting, you know you're on a diet, and you go out to eat with your friends, girlfriend, whatever, stay on track, man. Don't go to any restaurants if they don't have a healthy menu. They tell you the name of the restaurant, get online, look at the menu. And they don't have shit like chicken breast, sirloin steaks, turkey, potatoes, rice, simple shit that you can kind of track with your eyeballs, don't go there. Don't go anywhere, they don't have a healthy alternative. Because at the end of the day, when you look in that mirror, you gotta, you gotta ask for the shit you did or didn't do. And if you got friends or girlfriends and shit that can't respect your wishes, fuck them. Like for example, my baby right here, my love of my life, right? <laughs> it's fair to say my baby right here is not really into bodybuilding, not really into fitness, right? Baby. Do you ever have a problem with us going out to eat and you have your shit and I have mine? Mm -mm. You never, you never were like, damn, this nigga eat healthy and I'm eating cheesy grits and shit. You never felt bad about it. No. Because you know, this is why I like to do this, this is my passion. 
Sometimes I feel bad when I see you, you looking at my food. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. while I'm dying and, I, and I'm and I'm kind of grabbing, rolling, wishing yeah. I wishing I could have some. And then I'll be like, yeah. man, maybe I should have ordered a healthier no, one. No, I never want you to feel that way. But I don't. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like sometimes. But, exactly. But yeah, I don't. Yeah. Bother me it never made you. It made, it never turned you out like hell. That nigga too into this nigga too into himself. None of that. Trust me, man. If you most quality women understand, we have goals that don't revolve around them and sometimes we have to make sacrifices for ourselves and hypothetically speaking you do got a chick that's like you don't got a fucking diet you're already in shape or you already got muscles you don't gotta go to the gym cut her loose today now go to the call up say hey remember when you told me i'm already too buff or i already i don't need to go on a diet you know what you don't respect my body but it goes you gotta go just fuck her at the end of the day guys in, 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 in some sense, bodybuilding is a little selfish, man. You're going to have to uh, put yourself first in a lot of situations if you want to get these great results. Because honestly, the body does not desire to be lean and muscular. The body wants to store fat. Store fat is store energy. You want that lean, muscular look, you got to have a different lifestyle than everybody else. Now, the reason why you go to the gym and you see a lot of motherfuckers that have been going in for years and they look the motherfucking same because their lifestyle outside of the gym is not different. Showing up to the gym is not enough. You got to get out there and do your homework. It's like going to college or going to school. You're in class with your fucking books and shit, but when you go home, you're not doing your homework. Same shit. Eating out, eating healthy, making the right choice is doing the homework. I know y'all, some of y'all like, hell no. Nah. How the fuck is Chris's arms so lean right now? Should he be bulking? I got a real funny story for you guys. I will tell you about it in the next video. I'm going to be vlogging probably Saturday. I'll explain all that Saturday. Okay, but anyway, here's the video right here from my past. I want you guys to watch it. This is from 2012. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Also, comment below. Have you ever dated anybody or had any friends who were not being supportive of your wishes? As always, let's get whole ready this summer. I want you guys to be in the best shape of your life, and I'm here to help you. There you go. Don't forget, go to pumpchasers.com, support the motherfucking brand. I want you wearing this shit in the Zim gym, and I want you representing. And tag me on Instagram. Fuck with you. You know who it is, guys. Chris Jones. Represent Physiques of Greatness. And you know where I'm at. Well, for you new subscribers, I'm at Diddy's. Show them around, man. Good deal. Yeah. My favorite restaurant. You know what I'm saying? And I, what? And I got a question for you. Why every time we have lunch or we have dinner at Denny's, we have to do a blog and record. Sometimes I just want to enjoy your presence and eat. Hey, man. I got to look after my subscribers. And you do the fuck I tell you to do anyway. <laughs> sure. But anyway, I'm about to teach you guys something, man. You can I'll eat. We want to do eating out, not picking out, which is coming soon, by the way. Uh, it's because I want to show you there's healthy alternatives anywhere you go. Well, almost anywhere you go. All right, check this out. Look at this. My plate. Okay. You got two chicken breast. Two chicken breast. They're four ounces each. Covered in barbecue sauce, which is simple sugars, but I'm not even gonna get into that. You know what I mean? Because you're gonna make a lot of a lot of people butt hurt because they don't want to accept the fact that there's simple sugars in this shit. But anyway, that's beside the point. This is concentrated carbs. Each two tablespoons is about 15 grams of carbs, which means this is like the barbecue sauce alone is about 30 to 40 grams of carbs. Okay. Now, look what I got. I got it without the barbecue sauce, saving on carbs. Keep in mind, this is a dieter's meal, low carb, okay? Got cheese potatoes, also high in carbs with cheese, which is high in fat. I doubt they use fat-free cheese here, okay? Look, I got broccoli sauteed, okay? Saving on carbs. Same thing here, you know what I mean? Veggies is cool, you know what I'm saying? But instead of getting with the, with the corn, I decided to go with the broccoli. You know what I'm saying? And a little bit of flavor. And that's how you do it, guys. And check this out. She got dinner rolls for the hoes. Or in your case, dinner rolls for the bros. All right? And I got sliced tomatoes for the hoes. Hey, man. 
You don't got to pig out just because the company you keep pig out. What the what fuck? What that fucking mean? What that means <laughs> is what you eat don't make Chris Jones shit. Okay? You got to do you, man. When you look in that mirror every morning, you got to answer for what the fuck you did. And with that said, do not let the company you keep affect your lifestyle. Follow the fucking rules. Follow your macros. And you will mac hoes. Got something to say? Nah, we good. Okay. Anyway, this has been Chris Jones. Represent for Zisa Greatness. And I'm out. Chris, you've got to say something. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like my shit. Minimum.